What is up, future drumming freaks? Abe here again, and uh, I want to talk today about shuffles. In particular, today, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to talk about what most people call the gut bucket shuffle. Um, there's several different versions. There's the Chicago style shuffle, and the Texas shuffle, but most people still commonly refer to it as the gut bucket or gut bucketed. Um, and I see lots of players that, um, that are even pros that don't really shuffle. They don't know how to shuffle. Um, somehow they've gotten away or around shuffling. Um, so I think that shuffling is important. Um, it's paved the way for a bunch of my career and several other dudes that I know. So... Um, even if you don't wind up in a shuffling situation, you should know how to do it. So, step one, and this video is only going to concentrate on that. And we're going to keep it short because there's not a lot to talk about other than me showing you what is up. The shuffle pattern is basically a dotted uh, eighth note pattern. So instead of straight eighth notes, one and two and three and four and that kind of thing, you get what's a swing, which is a dotted eight pattern. So you get like a one, two, three, four, that kind of thing. So the most important thing about shuffling is your south paw. And most of the time I do it traditional grip. You can turn it over and do it match grip. But the technique is very important. The tap note and the accent note, very important. So you get the sound, that's how you get the groove. Okay, and so the loud note or the backbeat, I want you to be able to play that as a rim shot on your drum. So most of the time, when I'm playing back beats, they're always rim shots. Comes up. Okay? Rim shot. So you get uh -oh. one, two, three, four. That motion is very important because as you pick up tempo or work on your dynamics, you still need to pop that back no, that back beat. Okay, you need to pop that back beat on the rim. And it should feel like it's slightly behind a little bit. You know, like riding a horse, but maybe the you know, horse doesn't quite want to go. It's very much a feel thing. So, when you can get your left hand to do that, and you pick the tempo up a little bit, then I want you to get your right hand to do the same thing. Okay? Then, once you can do that on your pad, then I want you to sit down at your drum set and start putting it together. Left hand on the snare, and I'll demonstrate it here in the next video. That's why this is part one of the shuffle, the gut bucket shuffle. Left hand on the snare, right hand on the hi-hat. And that would be a closed hi-hat. Okay? Four on the floor with your bass drum. Okay? So with your right foot, you'll be playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. But like I said, the magic is in that left hand.
And as tempos go up, then the style of what you're going to do and their level of chops. It's going to de depend on whether or not you're able to do that. You might not have the chops to play at that tempo, so you're going to have to do something else, which will be a whole nother set of videos. But anyway, that is the introduction to the gut bucket style shuffle. Okay, kids? Work on that shuffle. Get it together. Go to a blues jam. Jam with some of these blues dudes. Watch some of these other blues guys that play uh, with, with in these blues bands. Watch those drummers. Check out their left hand. Watch how they're interpreting the shuffles. Uh, I highly recommend doing it. It's important. Um, it's a great skill to have. People will hire you in a heartbeat if you can play a decent shuffle. Well, that's it for the first uh, introduction to the gut bucket shuffle. Till next time, see you later.